The purpose of this video is to raise awareness of scamming. Scamming is the illegal practice of deliberately misdiagnosing errors and or issues with individuals' computers in order to convince those individuals to pay often large sums of money for software and services that they don't need. This video in no way focuses on specific ethnic, religious, political or social groups or individuals. No offence is intended. Scamming is illegal, no matter who does it and where in the world they do it. Hopefully, by watching this video, potential victims of scamming can avoid the time, cost and embarrassment of being lied to and taken advantage of. Thank you for understanding and please enjoy the video. Alright, hi guys, we've got what should be quite a fun one today. We've got fake notepad, kindly made by King Gold. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Notepad, I've replaced it in System32, and it looks pretty realistic. If you type in desk, it changes it to the correct spelling desktop. Uh, antivirus, you see it corrects it to antivirus. And there's also security. Security. And the stuff like firewall. It deletes it. Uh, network. And that just crashes it. And there's stuff like name, hackers. Like you're a Benjord. So you see, it does quite a bit and it's quite a fun program. So let's see how a scammer reacts to that. Says established support connection. Yeah, right. In the first that. box, it says your name. Type in your full name at the first box. Okay. And please note down a support key and the support key I'm providing you. Okay. Uh, you, need to pro uh, you need to put in the support key at the second box. Yeah, okay. Support, support key, key is a num. It's a, it's a, it's a number. It, yep. It's a number. It's in all in numbers. 239. Yep. 239. Yep. 950. Yep. 875. Now hit, hit continue. Okay. It says run and don't run. Do I press run? Run and then the second option is? There was a run and a uh, cancel button. Alright, hit run. Okay, R U N hit run and select to all the positive options. All right, select all the positive options which have ever come up on the screen. Just hide like behind okay, Monty yes. Buddy, my purple friend. All right. So, uh, can you please provide me any alternate number in case uh, this call gets get disconnected and can give you a call back on that number? It's six six one two three six eight one two two. So, right. What is the next option coming up on the screen? It you might see. say. Uh, 74 registry errors found. All right, this is the issue you are getting on the computer. Uh, yeah, and I didn't call that number. So, but I didn't. I preferred not to call that number up uh, there because they they're annoying. They're rude. Uh, all right, so you, uh, all right, so you you called up on this number eight four four seven six three five eight three six. I did right? before, and they were rude to me, so I put the phone down and called you instead. No, I'm just asking you, like uh, you called up on this very number eight four four seven six three. 5836, right? Yes, again. Not right and now, but I have before. Right. I have before, but I'm not right. that one now. All right. All right. So, right, uh, let me check out three few diagnostic I need to run on this computer in order to fix up the issue. Kindly be online. I'm running a diagnostic step, right? Okay. I'll show you what is the exact problem in the computer and how to fix it up. Right, so you can see I'm just running a diagnostic to uh, to find out what exactly has happened to the computer okay. right i'll show you right are right. you aware of computer te terminologies a bit a little bit but not very much not very much all right so i uh, just uh, check in your name is hermoin germer my name's ben b e n e uh, i'll put it in the uh all right fast support chat all right. I'll tell you each and everything. Please be online. Okay. Don't worry. I'm there to help you out. Right. So we got this problem. The, the first instance, uh, there are, you can see the warnings and errors in the computer. 100% normal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. As the name, as the name, as the name indicates, these errors and warnings are generally caused when you do not use the computer as you want to, like uh, you shut down the computer directly. Right. right, you do okay. not shut down, you, you, right, and this is the first instance you are getting, and the, these warnings and errors are generally created when there is some suspicious viruses or any malwares on the computer, okay. right, the error which was, right, error which was coming was due to this issue, maybe due to this issue, like you are getting a lot of errors and warnings, and you can see the number of events here, it's 1,127, oh my god, that's too much. Do you know what is the maximum limit of this number of events? No. What What is the maximum limit? 
it it should be up to 100 it should not Ooh. go beyond 100 and it is right it's 1127 wow. that's held to a lot of right and it should be the, these warnings and errors should be removed right, right. so this but means that your computer right, the computer is not safe at all these should be removed from your computer by running a diagnostic tool on the computer right so this is the first error i got it and let me check in few more things in the computer and i'll try to diagnose the issue as soon as possible okay. right right it's, uh, these are these are uh, the temporary files whenever you use your computer whenever you log in into your computer you use any applications these are the unwanted files which are created and needs to be removed from the system right right and here we come right and here we come on oh my god there is a suspicious virus that is run dll32.exe on the computer that is causing damage to the computer well, that right so do you good. know th what this content right uh, yes this doesn't sound good so do you know what this file contains yeah um no i don't right i'll, I'll tell you and in, in the computer terminology i'll tell you okay Run DLL32.exe is absolutely perfectly normal to have running on your computer. Right, so you can read out this 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 very paragraph, and you will you will get to know what exactly this file is all about. Are you getting it? Yeah, I can see that. It's a process registered as a backdoor vulnerability, which may be installed for malicious purposes by an attacker allowing access to your computer from remote locations, stealing passwords, internet banking, and personal data. Well, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound very good at all. Right, this doesn't sound very good at all, right? No. So I'll I'll I'm just going I'm I'm just going ahead and checking few more things in the computer because it's showing already showing 74 registry errors. So actually what's the right now your network has been corrupted. Did anyone else hear that? Let's replay it a couple of times. So actually what's the right now your network has been corrupted. So actually what's the right now your network has been corrupted. Scumbags. Your network has been corrupted. Okay. So what we need to do? All right. So this is uh, causing serious damage uh, to the computer. Stop. These all problems. Right. You can see. Rook, you can see here. These are Microsoft services. Are you aware of the Microsoft services? Uh, I can see them there. I can see a Microsoft Corporation. Yeah. I right. Can see that. It's right. Right. These all Microsoft services should be up and running all the time, and these are okay, stopped. Yeah. Okay. That means your network. Yeah. That, that, that means your network is not secure at all. If you do any right. transaction using internet banking banking or any other thing on the internet it's not safe or secure right, right? Okay. you may right you, you may you may lose your data or anything can be used or accessed by other persons on the internet on the on the network right. and you can see here most most of the services are stopped as i already showed you these or most of the services are stopped it should be up and running all the time uh, if somebody has to enter into your home, does he require your permission or uh, straight away he can enter your home? Well, he has to ask. He requires your permission, right? So if somebody enters at your home without your permission, that means he has some wrong intentions. Considering he's a scammer, I don't know how he can talk about wrong intentions. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it does. Right. Same Right. Same happens with the network as well. If right. you don't have the security, you don't have the firewall antivirus on your computer, that yeah. is like an open door. Anybody can enter it and access the data. Yeah, well, that, right. That's so first good. priority, right. Let me check one more thing on the computer. Right, which will give us a clear picture of what exactly has happened to the computer. You can hear him typing. You heard that up arrow there. Oh no, he's still typing. I had to mute the audio here because he would not stop breathing down his mic. No idea oh, the tree You can see, right, we have run a diagnostic on the computer. Right. So, okay. right, at the, bot at the bottom exactly, you can see, right, it has given us the result. And it says virus found 2500. Oh my god. This is a serious issue. 
and the firewall has stopped right. working and the network compromised by 96.6 percent now you can wow. see what exactly has happened to the computer yeah. the virus are too much 2500 viruses wow. so 2500 whenever you viruses. go to the internet you, right right virus are 2500 the firewall is stopped working that means your network is not secure the virus and the firewall are like if you have a door does it requires a lock yes if you have a door at your home without a lock on the door it is not good right so virus right. and firewall are like door and lock if you have virus on the computer if you have antivirus on the computer you should have firewall as well right right okay. yeah all right so i'm just writing it down on a notepad what uh, what's need to be done on the on this computer what okay. exactly needs to be done on this computer uh, i just wanted to know you are using a wi-fi connection and uh, no, it it's a wi-fi wired. connection it's wired and just running one more uh, just running one command to check whether the network is secure or not right okay all right so we got this result of the scan and it says that current connections are five yeah the five things are connected to this computer right. and it's giving ip addresses as well uh right that means your computer is also not, that the network is also not secure and also the there is a virus issue uh right. just just i'm um, telling you what all things i'm writing it down in a notepad what all things needs to be done okay Okay. PC tune-up is like, as right, your computer has errors and warnings. There are a lot of errors and warnings, and for that, the system is running slow. There is a virus problem. So PC tune-up is a security tool which will secure your computer, and it improves the speed and performance of the computer. Right. right? Okay. And secondly, an optimization is required. Optimization. Optimization okay. is like, right. Optimization is like uh, that the, there is a lot of space on the hard disk which needs to be reduced to improve system performance. So okay. optimization is to be done on this computer, right? Right. Thirdly, we requires, we need to remove all right, hackers. unwanted files. Okay. Or uh, like I have shown you, there is there is run dll dot exe thirty two dot exe file which needs to be removed from the computer. Right. Right. Okay. And then you need to restart all Microsoft services. Okay. Right. Right. And after that, and after that, we need to uh, just checking out. We need to remove junk files. Okay. Right. We need to install a good antivirus. Okay. Anti antivirus and a good network security, right. which is best in the market. Right. Okay. And after after that, we are required to remove all unwanted connections from the network, Is which that like are hackers? currently connected. Is that like hackers? Right. It, that was hacker means they can steal password or. Are you using internet banking? Occasionally, yeah. Occasionally, right. So if uh, I'm, I mean, prov I'm telling you what all tools needs to be installed on this computer in okay. order to make or secure this computer all right. from any virus or any hacker attacks, right? Okay. So yep. in that, these all these all uh, things are need to be done on this computer, right. and for that we are having we are having different tools. So first, we are required to install a good antivirus on this computer, which is best in the market, like uh, a Mac Cafe, Norton, any, any, any of that. And then okay. we require as internet, internet security, internet security pro. Okay. Three, it's the version 3.2.1. Okay. And after that, we are required, we are required to install a network security. Okay. Right, and network security, and after that a web route. Web route, okay. All right, web route, right, and 
and oh, and a firewall that is Dell Sonic firewall, Del Sonic which firewall. is the best in the market. Right. Okay. So these all things are required to be installed on this, right? Right. So you can, if you want, you can go to the market and purchase these all tools. Or otherwise, if you want, there are vendors available. Uh, can you please provide me the zip code? Sorry? Your, can you please provide me the zip code of uh, your area? Yep, it is. 93552. You can note down here, the cursor is moving there. Uh, you can note down the zip code 93552, right? Yep. All right. So, okay, uh, I can do one thing for you. Let me go ahead and ask. There are certain v vendors available with us who can provide these or security tools which are to be installed on the computer to remove right. all the unwanted connections, firewalls. Everything would be fine after that. Okay. Right? Yeah. So should I should I go ahead and ask the vendor how much will it cost please for these the old security yeah. tools? Yeah, please do. All right. All right. So let me go ahead and ask the vendor whether these old tools are available in your area with the zip code you are, you have given me. Okay. Please be online. So can I place your call can I place your call on hold for 2 minutes so yeah, that I can ask fine. the vendors? Thanks for being on hold. I really apologize for keeping you on hold, man. No, that's fine. All right. Uh, yes, I've just gone in uh, with this, asking the the vendor what is the price, exact price of these old tools, security tools, right? Right. So he has provided he has provided me uh, congratulations to you. Uh, he has told me that these old tools are available oh, for good. you, uh, in your, all right, in your area it's available, right? Uh, so he has told me, right, there are a few plans. I'm just going to discuss it with you. Right. And these are the best. Uh, right. These are the best, and uh, with at a discounted price. Right. Right. Uh, right. Why the screen is changing? Why is it doing that? Why is that Chinese writing? Right. There are viruses. That's why these are causing problem. Right. Right. For one year. Yeah. It is one ninety nine dollars and 99 cents okay right for two two year yeah it is for the cost of these all security tools is 249.99 right. right and for three years right. it is 299 dollars and 99 cents right and there is a special scheme for lifetime and if you are having few uh, other laptops desktop and this this plan would be uh, convenient for you it would be the best for you and it is at just at four ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents right. and it is for eight devices and it is wow. for eight devices whatever computer desktop laptop or any other so things you are got, having at your home i've got more desktops right? if i were to buy another desktop i could just transfer it to that Right, so uh, if you have more desktops or laptops, you can take this lifetime services. The device would get better. Right. Means uh, you, it is for eight devices and it can be covered for 10 or 12 devices, right? right. These okay. services. So if you want, you can take services from us anytime. If you take these security tools, you can take services from us 24 okay. into 7 for all the devices which you are having. All, all right, so. So let me go ahead and uh, transfer the call to my billing department so that uh, you will take services for the, the lifetime, right? Okay, but before you transfer me, they're not going to be fixed any issues because this is a clean virtual machine. Uh, like, remember how you did this? Um, remember how you did this a bit ago? And you were typing, viruses found. I could just do this, scammers found. See, it's that's a fake scam. I don't know if you're aware of that, but that's fake. In fact, you are aware of it because you were typing out a fake error. And I could hear you typing it on your keyboard. As for the event viewer, I'll show you uh, that. If you if 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 you know each and everything, why are you calling us? To expose if you know each and everything, why are you calling us? To expose you on my YouTube channel because I know you're a scammer. All right, I you can do. These, you can you can go ahead and normal. whatever you want to do, this you can do. Normal. You you go to. This is perfectly you just normal, fucking, you, 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 you idiot, don't call us again. Three market shoot, you are bastard.
Shut up, Ben. Ben Kelone. <laughs> Terry Markey, Chute, Madachot. Are you gonna do anything? Siski? You gonna do Siski? 